what a comeback. Mom, does it knock you? Yeah, you get the idea. You know, come on, you know I had to make the joke, right? It's the Samsung comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I sound like LL Cool J. I have his hairstyle, even if I don't have his his uh, biceps. What is up, everybody? I'm Noah from Phonak.com. This is the Samsung comeback for T-Mobile. It's very uh, unique looking. I'll say unique, and you can decide if that's a good or a bad thing. Unique looking, uh, they call it a side flip. Full QWERTY messaging phone hitting T-Mobile on Wednesday, July 22nd. $129.99 on contract after rebate. The folks at Samsung were kind enough to loan us one ahead of time so we could check it out, so you can check it out before it comes out. So you can decide, you know what? This is the comeback for you? Don't call it a comeback. All right, in the box, oh, it's even still sealed. This is gonna be a true unboxing, it's still sealed up. In the box, here's the phone. Now this is the Pearl White Plum phone. Uh, comes in a couple of colors. So yeah, so this is the uh, Pearl White Plum version. It's also gonna come in, let me make sure I get this right, Frost Silver Cherry. Wow. Uh, anyway, so you'll have your choice there if you wanna. Samsung come back in the box. Look, it's a SIM card. And it's a uh, AC adapter. And it's a headset. Is this stereo? It is stereo. Stereo, as my old friend Jeff used to say. And a battery. It is a 960 milliamp hour battery. Interesting looking phone. Don't call it, come back. Uh, we're going to need to put a SIM card in here. So we'll get a SIM card in here. Micro SD slot. Hidden away. Prefer it when the micro SD card slot's accessible, although... Well, no, I actually do use the micro SD card slot because I, uh, a lot of these phones that don't have syncing, media sync programs, especially if they're not Mac compatible, I'll take the card out and put it into my computer's uh, card reader. So I do like it when the card the card slot is accessible. But not in this case, hidden under the battery cover. Oh no, it ripped. I think that's the first time the film has ever ripped when I tried to pull it off. Don't call it a comeback. Uh, I just put a SIM card in. There you go. Welcome to T-Mobile. Thanks for coming around. So yeah, interesting design here. Uh, you've got the... Um, you got your, your dialing keypad and everything here on the front. Little screen on the front there. We have some specs on that display. 125 by 128, 65,000 colors. And then you open it up, and another display on the inside with your full QWERTY. There's your plum right there. Uh, kind of smallish keys. Um, exit. A nice little shortcut menu there, my faves. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. My faves, messaging inbox, web to go, apps, my account. Go to menu. You can see it's a 3G phone. It's got a 2 megapixel camera on the back with video capture. Uh, it's got GPS as well. There's your little carousel menu. Kind of nice. Cute. Cute little menu. Let's create a message. And let's see how it does with the uh, typing. All right, so you know, first first time through, you can see I made some mistakes. That a coupon fox jumped. Prefer it's supposed to be over. LL is supposed to be capitalized. That's supposed to be cool with a capital C. J is supposed to be capitalized. Don't call it a comeback. Um, you know, not too bad. I think that with the keys, they're definitely small. 
uh, but they're they're well spaced was my feel and they felt good uh, good feedback you know the key travels kind of long actually so they felt pretty good um, but but they are a little smallish and then also they're so deeply recessed I mean there's such a big amount of you know you they're they're so that that's like 25 feet right there from where the keyboard is to the top of the phone that's a long way for a thumb to travel um, so that's a little bit odd but uh, you know I have to test the phone out more to see um, I like the menu system here that's looking nice I don't know this whole you know it's an interesting form factor but curious to see what people think about it let's uh let's get out of here let's get out of here man no saving got some shortcut keys here to messaging and camera and stuff uh, welcome to my faves. Thank you. I would like to go to the uh, interweb. I'm not going to go to web to go. I'm instead going to go to media. Oh no, I have to go to. Do I have to go to web to go? I guess I do. I'm going to enter a URL. Yeah, it's an interesting keyboard. I think I could get used to it, but it is kind of, you know, strange how far down it's recessed. But here, let's show you the screen. That's what you want to see. Uh, this internal screen, by the way, is 240 by 400, 262,000 colors. Um, it's a thick phone. It's almost three quarters of an inch thick, as you can see there. I, I don't know. It's a, an interesting uh, form factor. I keep saying that. I'm not, I'm just I'm not quite sure what I think about it just yet, and I don't I don't want to influence you, but uh, you know some of the phones for me it's love at first glance, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Some it's not actually I should say, and I'll leave it at that. You also get your manuals and your CDs inside here. I didn't open that up, but you know we pretty much know what's in there, right? Yeah. So we're bouncing between 3G and edge coverage here, so it's uh, it's loading up still loading. Uh, on the side of the phone you've got um, your accessory charger port and a little rocker switch and then that's pretty much it because most of the buttons are inside here. We'll see what it gives us from the menu here. As opposed to trying to load up phone dot, we'll do that later. Here's your cut, here's your web to go home page. So, sponsored by Yahoo. ESPN who was shot? Burks? Who's Ellis Burks? No. Former Memphis Grizzlies and University of Memphis point guard Antonio Burks was shot during a robbery. And people put the guns away. Let's learn to settle our differences without violence. Alright, so. Here's kind of a first look. Uh, let's try one more time with a new page. And uh, it's still loading up. Here we go, phone dog. Yeah, it does look like an HTML browser. So there you go. Even though it's kind of a small screen, full HTML. Kind of like the other Samsung. Uh, that's, you know, that's not too bad actually. Even though it's still loading kind of slow because I have kind of sketchy coverage here in the office. All right, much, much more on the Samsung highlight. Or the Samsung Comeback, the Samsung Highlight, which is another new T-Mobile phone that's right here. And, uh, all the other phones on PhoneDog.com. Lots of Android rumors today, so go check those out. Well, that'll be yesterday by the time you read this. Um, what happens if I click this YouTube video? Will it just play? I guess it'll probably just go to YouTube, because that's a video. I'm just thinking it'll go to YouTube and play it. Anyway, much, much more on all the new Samsung, all the T-Mobiles, all the new phones, period. And there's going to be a lot of them this summer, trust me, on phonehug.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you can win free stuff. You can play the OnePod Bandit. I think Samsung just donated some more phones to the OnePod Bandit, so definitely check it out. It's the new summer season. You know, summer's not just about new episodes of Entourage. Uh, we got more phones for you. One Pod Bandit, check it out. You can play it on Phone Dog and the Phone Dog Facebook page. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>